Hello, my name is Jay. Welcome back to my Tech Vault. And right here, I have a $50 budget gaming PC that I will be giving away this Saturday. And this is actually going to be one of the coolest videos that will be upcoming on Saturday. I really want you guys to check it out. So definitely make sure to tune in to see who this ends up going to. I'm really, really excited for the cool little process, the process that's going to go on. But for today, we're going to be building this. And we're going to be showcasing all the parts, the process, and how to pick $50 uh, why I picked $50 and really what I ended up doing with the $50. So, a couple things first off. Number one, $50. Is it a good range that you can get a decent starter PC? Yes. If you know what you're doing, you have a good budget and you know where to look and you have looked. This has actually been my summation of a lot of time and effort looking. You definitely, definitely, definitely could get uh, something similar. This is definitely easy to replicate. Uh, you just have to have a little bit of time and effort, at least in the United States. Um, uh, in somewhat of an urban area, uh, so you you can definitely replicate this. Now I do think that uh, it will take a little bit of time. This probably has been the accumulation of about three months worth of looking, uh, but still, it it is definitely a pretty solid PC for fifty bucks. Now why did I choose fifty bucks? Well, first off, fifty bucks is coming out of my ad revenue, and for the record, I don't make really any. So the ad revenue that I have gotten has pretty much gone summation. I've been able to do a lot more recently. I've been able to start doing videos based off of ad revenue. So I've been able to take some of that ad revenue, buy parts, and then make videos off of that. And this is what this is coming from. So $50 of my hard earned money, I'm giving away. Now, nothing against that. I think this video this Saturday will be the best piece of content that I will make in my life, without a doubt. But I do think that still, it is my money. And I, I, I enjoy doing this, so it's worth it. But for this computer right here, we've got a pretty much a summation of a lot of cool parts, a lot of stuff going on. Um, so really, I want to show off the build process of this, why I picked each part, and a little bit of the background of each one. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we've got ourselves some parts. Let's go over what we got here. So right here for the CPU, we got an Intel i5-650. And you're going, holy crap, that is old. And you're right, it is. But keep in mind, I want an i5, four cores, bare minimum, uh, for this gaming machine, and it's 50 bucks. So for me, I, I really couldn't go with anything else lower than i5. This is one of the cheapest i5s that I've had around for a bit. And honestly, I think it will go to much better use than sitting around back here doing absolutely nothing. So the story about this motherboard, um, and actually the CPU itself, uh, is that I got them originally from a old um, or a recycle, refurbishing, recycle kind of um, charity. Basically, you buy the parts, and that way the money, the pr it's all the parts are donated. You buy the parts, and then your money that you pay for it goes into helping actually get kids uh, computers that don't have them. And for the purpose of this, we're going to be building this for more of a giveaway, so that's what I'm going to be doing with that. Um, so we got an Intel i5-650, uh, we've got an, a T-series, that's right, T-series motherboard that, uh, I, uh, I don't believe me, but seriously, it says T-series, I don't know why, um, but we've got a T-series motherboard, um, honestly no issues with it, but it is just kind of time to go, um, so, also for the cooler, we have a Reben Brontes uh, cooler, which this is a cooler that I got almost two years ago for one of the like samples, it was a free sample that I got. Honestly, no issue with the cooler, it's low profile, no issues whatsoever, uh, if I stop dropping this. But um, yeah, no issues with it, and just uh, save some money that way. Next up, we got the RAM, and for the RAM, we're packing four or two four gigabyte sticks, so eight gigabytes total of DDR3 RAM, I believe this is 1200 something. Uh, but this is just regular, decent DDR4 RAM. 8 gigabytes was, as I said, a bare minimum as well. For a solid gaming computer, we really, really need uh, something that at least solidifies with enough RAM that you can do a couple things. I mean, obviously, this is 2019, and 16 gigabytes, I would say, is definitely getting closer and closer to being the, the norm and what really everyone should have. But for the purpose of this system, uh, honestly, 4 gigabytes should be more than enough. Uh, just for gaming and it's a pretty good amount just for the budget that we've got here and actually I'm pretty proud of it. For the graphics card which is of course the center part of this gaming system we've got a chunk. Um, we've got a pretty pretty beefy boy and uh, this guy is no doubt a little bit old, a little bit dated, the GeForce GTX 570 but by no means is this a uh, not a good looking card. This card it looks really nice 
It does have a little bit of GPU sag. I mean, heck, I would be surprised after all these years if it didn't have any GPU sag, like holy crap. But um, for the most part, this graphics card is pretty big. It's got a beefy cooler, two separate, like, I've, I've, this is back when a time when this was not a thing, having three slot cards, and this guy is a chonk. So that has been, that's pretty much the graphics card itself. Uh, GeForce GTX 570, a pretty solid card. I got this one back um, with a bunch of graphics cards for like 15 bucks for like 10. So this really ended up being really cheap uh, for the purpose of today's video. The uh, RAM itself, as I said for me, was I think I also got in a big bin of RAM. I went digging through there. It was like a, another bulk deal. If you, if you take like a box full and there was this was in there, I think it was like 20 bucks for a box full. So uh, it was just like DDR2, DDR3. I think there was some DDR4 in there, uh, but mostly just DDR2 and DDR3. Um, so that is, that's the graphics card. Honestly, a pretty good snag there as well. The case itself is, I believe, 10 bucks. So um, that's how much the case cost. It was brand new, though. It was still in the original box sealed. So uh, this case I've had for a good bit. It's a solid case, got a nice side panel, and I really think it'd be a great thing to show off. Um, as for the power supply, power supply, we've got an, uh, I believe it's an EGA bronze uh, 450 power supply. But really, what it came down to is this was something I got from a friend. I did work in his computer. He gave me his old power supply when we upgraded, and he never really looked back. And that actually, that friend is going to be in the video um, coming up uh, this Saturday. As I said, he's going to be helping me record it. I've recruited him. Uh, but that's that's where his thing went. So I didn't pay anything for that. He just donated that, and that's where it's going to be going. A uh, little progression of when I get stuff, I try to put it back in the, in the same manner that I got it. So that is the little um, power supply. For the hard drive, we've got a 7,200 RPM, one terabyte hard drive. Um, it's brand new. Uh, story with that one is uh, me in the trash bin and talking with people. Uh, I was able to secure one, actually a bunch of brand new hard drives uh, and some used ones. Uh, bulk deal, I think I paid like 50 or 70 bucks for just dig whatever uh, and take a box or two. And so that's why I ended up getting that. So that being said, Whatever you want to break down the prices to, I don't know. But that it was not necessarily expensive, and this whole thing really did cost me probably less than 50 bucks. Um, but do I think that it's replicable? Maybe you couldn't get a terabyte hard drive. You might have to stay with a 500 one. I've seen some SSDs that go for around like 10 bucks for 60 gigabytes. So I'm sure you could find. Uh, uh, I'm sure you could find something around a 120 for uh, 10 bucks as well, and have a really nice system there. But Overall, this is the system here. Let me put it together, and then uh, let's get started on doing some benchmarking, some testing, and showing off what this guy is capable of, downloading a couple games, and then we'll get started and all prepared for the video coming up this Saturday. <laughs>
that would be the PC, $50 budget PC actually, that we're going to be using for this Saturday for the giveaway. So if you're interested in checking that out, make sure you check out or hop on for the video Saturday and uh, I assure you it will be a good one. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting one to see how well it benchmarks. So I'm going to go load this up real quick, load a few games up on it, and we're going to see exactly what happens. How well does it perform and really what is what are you getting for 50 bucks? So welcome back. A couple things. Um, the graphics card ended up not working for some reason. So uh, I've got a GTX 660 in there instead of the 570. It's about the same card. Um, other than that, uh, oh, and the thing is that the CPU is not a i5 650, but a 760. It should still be around the same thing. That's close enough. Um, so here we are in everyone's favorite game, Minecraft. With uh, it mounted up actually a great deal. I've actually got um, a bunch of shaders on here. Uh, shaders are actually make the game look a lot nicer. Ended up in a weird spot, and I don't know what's up with the. I don't know what's up with the horses, uh, but we've got Optifine installed, and we've also got some heavy mods installed. As you can see, we're getting uh, well above 60 FPS uh, for 50 bucks. Definitely, definitely quite impressive um, for 50 bucks. We can just take a quick look around. As you can see, uh, yeah, no issues whatsoever. Actually, very, very impressed with um, how well this is actually is doing. Especially, really, a 90 FPS, um, just just amazing. So um, that is pretty much just Minecraft. Let me see if I can get some other games installed real quick, go through and test those, and then uh, we'll go from there and see really how well it performs. So let's just try playing a game of Legends, Apex Legends, with uh, this computer. Since this is actually ended up going to be mostly used for Apex Legends, I'm just curious to see actually how good it is. Um, so let's just, I don't even have headphones. Let me go plug these suckers in real quick. So this is uh, running on quite a questionable computer and uh, textures are not the best. Um, let's go. So we're just dropping straight down. Oh boy. It's been a while since I played this. Actually a good bit. I used to play this when this first came out and uh, it's been a good bit in the place, but honestly right now, no issues with it whatsoever, so uh, it's actually really good um, because honestly I'd be concerned if there was a, we had issues with playing the game, but honestly no, no issues whatsoever. But yeah, I'm a little, a little impressed by this. Texture's going to be a little slow to load in, um, and there are definitely some lag spikes. Definitely think this is playable. That has been PUBG and Apex Legends, both played, uh, as you saw, in, in the heat of battle exceptionally well. Um, my gameplay, though, has suffered recently due with classes in college and things like that, but overall, pretty solid. So that has been a little bit of gameplay. Hope you guys enjoyed the testing. And of course, you want to see how this plays out and what, who this computer ends up going to. Make sure you check out Saturday because that will be a fun video that will be coming out this Saturday. So thank you all very much for watching. Have a wonderful day. And uh, subscribe, like if you enjoyed today's video. See you later.